Hi everyone, I am Anil Kumar, motivation speaker. Today, I would like to speak how to enroll State Bar Council of India with their respective states. Many of the students have been confused about how to enroll at Bar Council of India under Advocates Act 1961. So many of the students have been confused. I wish you all the best who have been passed 3 years LLB and 5 years LLB. Can you? We have been received the results. So I hope many of the students have been passed very well. So after completion of their LLB course, their worrying is how to get enrollment in the State Bar Council of India with their respective states. Today, I am going to clarify your question. Many of the students have been called up for this question. So that is the reason today I am making this video particularly how to enroll the, you know, at State Bar Council of India. First of all, to enroll State Bar Council of India, we have to complete our LLB course, whether it could be three years LLB, whether it could be five years LLB, we have to be complete it without any backlog subjects. So after completion of your LLB course, we can enroll with their respective states. We need to obtain application form around a prescribed fee will be like, you know, 600 rupees for that application fee. So we have to get application form. We have to fill all the relevant informations in the form, prescribed form, we need to fill it. Then after, what are all the documents we need to enclose? That is very important. So, if you don't get original certificate, at least you need to enclose provisional certificate, what you call provisional degree certificate for 3 years LLB and 5 years LLB. You need to obtain from the university. That is first point. Then after we have to collect study certificate. Study certificate and character certificate from the from your respective colleges. So first is your provisional certificates and uh, second is your study and character certificate. Then you have to you have to get you know 10th mars card, 12th mars card, and degree mars cards as well. Your degree mars card, 10th mars card, and second PU mars card, and LLB mars card. What you call provisional mars card? If you get original certificate, that is well and fine. If you don't get original certificate, you can enclose provisional certificate. All certificates should be you know, self-attested and gazetted, uh, uh, gazetted officer with, uh, you know, attested certificates we need to enclose. You have to fill the form, all relevant form. Your current address and uh, your correspondent address should be pakka in the application form. Otherwise, they cannot communicate the information which they required from the state bar council of india to your residential address whatever communication will be made through you know post they will, they will be going to do all those things in a post so that is the reason you have to give very pakka residential address so that then then after only we'll get the informations or correspondence from the respective states so that is very important then after in the application form itself, we have to get signature from two advocates. That two, that two advocates more than 10 years, they have to be practiced in the court. So that is very important. Then after you have to submit you know, State Bar Council of India, we have to go directly with the offline, what do you call? You have to get the forms and uh, fill the forms and uh, to get obtain the certificates, all those things and get 
attested from the gazetted officers then you have to submit the prescribed form what you call along with the prescribed form application form filled form with enclosed your all relevant documents what i told your degree certificate provisional certificate what you call degree certificate llb or llb 3 years llb or 5 years llb that and after that your degree certificates and uh, degree mark sheets of the 10th 12th those kind of uh, mark sheet to be get you know uh, attested by gazetted officer and we need to enclose and one passport size photo also to be enclosed and directly we have to go and submit the application form you while going the you know state bar council you have to carry your even original mark sheet also so that they will verify it and they will give back to you again it is very good if you carry uh, to the bar state bar council of india after verification if you if they found any discrepancies or any corrections they will be communicate to your residential address so if you they if they found if they cross examination cross examine any kind of documents missed or something like that they will do correspondence through post so after that any queries required from uh, state bar council of india you need to furnish the information through post then after some few days after that you will get one temporary registration number you will get one temporary registration number from the state bar council of india this is the procedure after verification your records you will get one temporary registration number under advocates act 1961 so this is the procedure method after completion of your after obtaining the temporary registration number you need to make examination fee for all india bar council exams how to make it that also i will make video next uh, you know uh, some time i can make video how to get enrolled for the examinations and what are all the Uh, subjects we need to refer and what will be the pattern that uh, i will be going to explain in the another video so there will be a two time exam in a year from the all india bar council so you have to pass that exam within the span of two years of time after completion of your registration process and you are, after obtaining your you know registration number you need to pass within 2 years span of period you have to pass the all india bar council exams what you call so there will be a you know uh, earlier it was open book method now it is been only they are allowing bare acts so they are allowing only bare acts you have to take bare acts and you have to write the answers for those questions this is the examination which they are going they have been conducted so far so in the next video i can able to explain how to prepare for the all india bar council exams uh, as an advocate so i will explain very uh, because of this uh, due to some time constraint i am not able to cover those kind of things this video have been explained how to make procedure how to make register for your enrollment at state bar council of india so i hope this video have been clarified about got doubts many of the students have been raised with these doubts i hope this uh, video have been clarified your doubts please do subscribe my channel alnikumar kedi so that you will notified very good videos like this thank you